Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our videos regarding Empire. So today we're going to be demonstrating the amplifier section of Empire specifically. So as we said before, uh, we have a DI track and we have Empire already added to it. Uh, since we're going to be focusing on the amp side, I'm going to go ahead and hide the pedals by clicking down here. So we don't see that. Okay, so amps. If we click on amp, we're gonna see a list, okay? So a um, couple of things here. If you basically hover the mouse on top of the options, you're gonna see on the left, uh, the name on this area, uh, it'll say a name and a description. So for example, this one says MCM 800, high gain, 80s classic, so loud you can hear from Mars. All your neighbors will hear it too, okay? So, you know, the description tells you more or less what you're shooting for when you select uh, these amps, right? So, a high gain, you know, might, might be a little distorted. Maybe if you're, doing, if you're doing something like rock music, might be a good option, right? Then you have like dual amplifier. This three-channel heavy metal standard is ideal when high gain isn't enough gain. Many tone shaping options. So, click on that. And boom, it was right. Many tone changing options. Look at all those knobs, right? Plenty of knobs. Um, then you have the VC30, versatile 70s British Invader that you may associate with a real uh, regal guitarist. Serve with sides of tremolo and vibrato. So as you can see, um, here it is. Vibrato, tremolo, and the speed. Uh, you have Blackface Twin and amp stv okay um you can also uh, by looking at the actual aesthetics of the knobs and the little switches that it has or that they have you more or less know uh what kind of uh, amp or brand or model they're trying to emulate so for example if i select this mcm 800 and i just press play chances are it's going to be a little overdriven let's see what's up and it is, it's pretty distorted. We have a preamp volume that I'm gonna play with, see if we can make it less uh, grungier. So it goes from kinda grungy to super distorted. So um, you're going to see that most of these have um, some kind of equalizer, okay? In the case of this one, you have bass, middle, and treble. And once again, uh, bass is basically your low uh, frequency area of your spectrum. Middle is the mid area of your spectrum. And then treble is the high end of your spectrum. So you can easily crank um, or reduce these uh, these areas of the spectrum by clicking and dragging. So for example, if I want to make my tone brighter, I can just crank this treble. See what, let's see what happens. So that's duller. That's a little brighter, okay? I also have a presence knob. And that's even more. A little dull, and then if I crank it up, there it is. If I cut the bass or the middle, you can hear the difference, right? Now you're going to see that this bass, middle, treble, or I guess you could say that equalizer section also happens in other amps. Like VC30, you have treble, bass, and cut. Um, it's not exactly low mid bass or like uh, like 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 the one you saw on the MC800, but you will have some kind of equalization. You can see this one, for example, says treble mid range bass. Uh, this one treble middle bass. Okay. You're also gonna see that most of these have some kind of uh, volume knob, gain knob, master knob, however you want to call it. Okay. Like in this case, this one. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that's like the master, if you want to call it that way, of that channel. Okay, if I go to this channel and I plug myself here, you know, it's this one. Um, what else? Oh, we also have the inputs. This is a good, good uh, moment to explain that. This amp specifically has two channels, a nor quote unquote normal channel and a quote unquote vibrato channel. Now each channel has two options, one and two. Okay. One and two. Um, you can also switch from bright to not bright. Okay. So for example, if you're in the normal channel of this guy, input one, um, and you simply just press play. So there's the volume, there's the treble. You have that little switch there that goes from bright to less bright. A little switch. And you have a second input on that same channel. That sounds different actually. Oh, it's a little louder. Now that's just in the normal channel. These controls here do not affect the normal channel because these controls on the right are associated to the vibrato channel. So if you go and uh, plug yourself in this one, you still have volume, treble, mid bass, just like normal, but you also have reverb speed and intensity. Okay, so that's to control your vibrato. City of the vibrato, the speed, and your reverb. Goes from a lot of reverb to no verb. Same thing. You have the bright and the the bright switch, which you can turn on or off and two options for two connections there. So you can be in this one, and you switch to bright, and switch to the bottom one, that's actually louder. Okay, so that's as far as channels. Let's switch to, let's say, this one. So in this one, you also have different channels, as you could say, as you could see. You got vibrato, tremolo, normal, and brilliant. So plenty of options. And by the way, if you just hover your mouse on top of it, it'll tell you like input to brilliant, input to brilliant, input to brilliant, to normal, to normal, to brilliant. So you can go from normal and brilliant, okay? Um, once again, you have a way to shape your tone, okay, with treble, bass, cut. You have a way to shape your volume, uh, the normal and the brilliant volume, depending on when you connect. And you have your vibrato control. So if I'm in, uh, let's say this one, brilliant mode, this is my, my volume. However, this tone is shared. to normal, this is my volume now, and this is my vibrato tremolo. If I connect myself into that, and you control it with this knob. Pretty obvious, right? Okay, let's see what else do we have here. Okay, so there are other amps that you're gonna see that have uh, also switches. <laughs> okay, like for example, this one. Um, and basically this switches ultra high or ultra low, 
Um, it's kind of like the same thing you saw on the black face twin uh, that you had a bright, uh, a bright switch. Sorry, not a knob, a switch. Uh, so it basically switches from, I guess you could say a normal, regular sound to a little bit brighter. Same thing on these guys, ultra high. It's just a switch. It will change the tone a little bit. And honestly, you would just click on it until you like the way it sounds. So that's a good overview of the amp area um, in Empire. Uh, on the next tutorials, we're going to be demonstrating how to use the cabinets, the microphones, pedals, and so on and so forth. Stay in touch. And if you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we're going to be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.